Hey, I'm Dallas from DN Simple, and I'm here to show you how to connect your Heroku app to your domain. Why use the connector? Well, there's a few reasons. First, it's fast. Next, the connector will ensure you have the correct configuration at both Heroku and DN Simple. And finally, we'll monitor the, the connection to make sure that it stays in working order. Before we get started, let's jump to our DNS records and take a backup. We can do that by clicking on export to a zone file. This will prompt you to download a backup file of your entire zone and all your DNS records. You can import it later with import a zone file if you need to. With that out of the way, let's head to the connections tab and add the Heroku connector. So because the connector is a standalone application, we need to authorize our DN Simple account. So I'll click on connect my DN Simple account. And it outlines exactly what's happening and then we need to authorize it. Now we need to do the same thing with Heroku. So you can see we need to authorize the DN Simple Heroku connector and I'll allow it. All right, so the first step on this page is to choose our Heroku app. I have one called Domain Troubleshooting, which we'll use for this. Next is I'm going to mount it at app.mycoolcompany.com. Uh, if you plan to use the Apex or the Naked Domain with no subdomain, uh, just leave that empty. If I hit Preview Changes, I'll see exactly all the changes um, that the connector is going to make both to my Heroku account and my DN Simple account. First we're going to add the custom domain to the app in Heroku and then we're going to add the CNAME and a webhook in DN Simple. If you have conflict conflicting records it'll show up here. All right good looks like we have a brand new card uh, for app.mycoolcompany.com. Um, the this, uh, connection has been established and we can even check out metadata and disconnect if we need to. This is great. The, the connection is all set up and ready to go. Now, what happens if we head to our DNS records um, and we can see that it created that DNS record. And if we head to our settings in our Heroku application, we can see that we've added a new um, custom domain. What happens if we edit the record and let's say take off one character? Now we'll head back to the connection and reload the page. Sometimes it takes a second, but there it is. There's a broken connection, a recent change to the CNAME record. Um, for our connection has broken it and it says please reconnect your Heroku app. That's easy to do. We just click on reconnect. And we go through similar steps authorizing both Heroku and DN Simple. And then it outlines exactly um, what, it, what it's going to be doing. It's noticed that this is missing the extra character so it's going to delete that record it's going to create the new one, which is generated on the fly by Heroku, and it's just going to reuse the other uh, assets, um, the domain at Heroku and the webhook at DN Simple. So let's connect it. Good. Looks like it's been reconnected. You can notice that the status is okay now, and um, that's it. Uh, we've reconnected. Um, so I suppose the final step would be how to disconnect. Uh, and it's a matter of clicking disconnect here and you can see that you have control over uh, how the, the disconnect works. We can leave the configuration completely in place um, and nothing will break or we, if we're completely done with um, having the DNS records and the custom domain on the Heroku app then we can just uh, check off to delete them and disconnect. Good, looks like the, rec the card is gone. So this is the Heroku Connector. We'd love for you to check it out. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube or Twitter. And um, yeah, you can contact us at dnsimple.com contact. See you later.
Bye.